shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a man who is fearless. A young loner on a crusade to champion the cause in a world of reckless automobiles. These are my moto vlogs. Hey, what's up YouTube? Your boy Chris is out on the go wing. Actually, I'm out here doing a test ride, out here testing out this rear backup camera that I installed on the 2016 Honda Goldwing. And it's actually working pretty good to be a wireless backup camera setup. It's working real good. This system here is called Taddy Brothers. T-A-D-I Brothers. I know some of you have asked me, have I installed this backup camera on the Honda Goldwing yet? So I'm here to tell you that yes, I actually installed it probably about a week ago. I just haven't had a chance to get out here and and test ride it because I've been working a lot and the weather has been changing. It's a cool day for a ride, 46 degrees. 46 degrees out on the 2016 Honda Goldwing. So today, I'm wearing my my Iron Man suit, AKA my Centurion Toolmaster. You know, it's actually been several years since I put this thing on. Probably a couple years. I know last year I had on my, my first gear one piece suit. I, I love it, really love it. I will include a link in the description where you can pick up the first gear one piece suit. This is actually my tool master. My Iron Man suit. Underneath I'm wearing my hot wired heated gear. Matter of fact, I don't even have it on. And I still feel toasty. But it's a cool day for a ride. All week long supposed to be cold, y'all. The weatherman is calling for rain all week, every day. He's calling for rain every day, so I decided to get out here and give me a little ride in today. Wanted to test out my rear backup camera that I installed. Taddy Brothers. I will include a link in the description if any one of you are interested in installing a rear backup camera to your your Honda Goldwing. As a matter of fact, I was so impressed with it that I installed it on the 21 Honda Goldwing as well. So depending on which bike I'm riding that day, I could just move my monitor over to that bike. So I have a camera on the 21 trailer and I have a camera on this Can-Am trailer. All I have to do is just move the monitor, plug it into my cigarette adapter or my cigarette lighter, and voila. So I'm just out here doing a test ride today because all week long is the weatherman is calling for rain. So I figure if I didn't get it in a day, I might not be able to get it in for the remaining of the week. But sometimes the weatherman gets it wrong. So out on the 2016 Honda Goldwing. So let's talk about this backup camera system that I installed. It's called Taddy Brothers. It's called Taddy Brothers. And they make a lot of different type of systems. They make them in big monitors. They make them in small monitors. This is actually made for an automobile. I just installed it on this Honda Goldwing. So let's talk about some of the advantages of having this type of system on your bike. Why would you need a backup camera on your Honda Goldwing? Well, that's a very good question and I'm glad you asked. For one, some of you out there that pull with trailers, maybe you're tired of looking over your shoulder or maybe your trailer is just wider than the average trailer. Some of you guys are pulling camper type trailers. This type of system is good for being able to look behind you without 
looking over your shoulder. Now, most of my majority of the time when I'm riding, I use my my convex mirrors or my blind spot mirrors, depending on what you want to call it. But I use my blind spot mirrors. But sometimes when I'm sitting at a red light and I don't want to look over my shoulder, I can just look in my my backup camera, look on the monitor to see what's going on behind me. I think it's a great addition to add to the Honda Goldwing if you're pulling a big trailer. If you don't pull a trailer, I can't see a need for this type of system. But if you're pulling a trailer, especially a bigger trailer, I think this would be great to have. Being able to look over your shoulder without turning your head. For me, I'm using the backup monitor in conjunction with my, my side mirrors and my blind spot mirrors. As they say, keep your head on a swivel. So I think it's a good system to have in regards to not being able to, to see around your big trailer or, or seeing behind you when you're sitting at a red light. So what are the disadvantages of having this type of system on your gold wing? Uh, but this particular monitor is not waterproof. It's not waterproof. But the way I have it set up, I can actually remove the monitor off of my gold wing probably in about one second. So once my kickstand is down, I can remove my monitor in about one second. Uh, there's several different ways you can mount this monitor. Uh, they actually come with the suction mount. You can mount it, you can mount it on the, the windshield. Or you can mount it on the handlebars or however you see fit. Uh, but keep in mind that, you know, this is not a waterproof system. But I can take it off in about one second. So if it starts raining, all it takes is a second to take it off and put it in the trunk. So I think it's great to have, especially when I'm pulling a trailer. If I'm not pulling the trailer, I don't even have to connect it to the bike. I was actually reading some of your comments and one of the comments I got was how can you see with all the crap on your going? Well sometimes when you read these comments you know I try to ignore them. A lot of times you know my mother say when you see a fool just leave them there. But sometimes you want to respond to a stupid comment. Did you guys see the movie? With Denzel Washington, the movie Equalizer, when he sat at the table with the bad guy, and he told the bad guy, he said, listen, I've done a lot of things in my life that I'm not proud of, and I promised somebody that I love very much that I wouldn't go back to being that guy. But he told him, he said, but for you, I'm going to make the exception. <laughs> So if you guys leave a comments today, I'm gonna make the exception and respond. So how can I see what all of this crap on my bike, as you say? Actually, I can see really well. Uh, my view is not obstructed. Uh, actually, the way everything sits uh, below the line of the vent is not even in my view. So everything that's about in line with the antennas, the vent, or the camera, it's not even in view. It's actually below my eye line. So if anything is obstructing my view at all, it would be the camera on my helmet. But that's very minor, very minor. So I can see really well. I have no issues. With this monitor, I could actually adjust it. I could raise it up or down. I could go left or right. Or I could just make it stationary. So the monitor is not in my way. My phones are not in my way. My cameras are not in my way. I can see really well. Without even turning my head, without even looking 
at the monitor, I can see to my right, I can see my convex mirrors, I can see to my left, or depending on how you guys are watching, my left, your right, my right, your left, my view is not obstructed. If anything obstructs my view and is very minor would be my camera. And so as I kind of tip my head down just a little bit, it's below the level of the vent. So the takeaway from what I'm trying to say is that nothing on the bike obstructs my view to where I can't see or where it's not safe. You know, like I said in my last video, I'm a gadget and gadget type guy. I've always been like that since I was a kid. I love my gadgets. So for me, this makes my ride experience more gooder. You mean more better? No, more gooder. So I have no problems. I can see really well. So I'm just out here testing out this backup camera. Tatty Brothers, I will include a link in the description of the video if you guys want to pick up one of these camera systems. Not hard to install. I installed the wireless. Now they make different different types of cameras. They make them wired where you guys could wire, wire them in or if you want to be convenient, you can go with the wireless. I like the wireless. That way I can move the monitor from one bike to another. And this particular monitor, it'll hold, or it can actually see four cameras. So I can program four cameras and it will actually give me four different views. So right now I just have it one camera pointing to the rear for the rear view. So I also have the Viofolk dual dash cam on the Honda Goldwing. One pointing to the front, one pointing to the rear as well. And, it, and another thing about this particular monitor, backup monitor that I have on the Honda Goldwing, is that it'll actually record. It has a spot for record. So if I want to hit this little record button, I can hit the record button right here, and record actually pops up on the screen in red. So it actually record. It has a, a slot for a micro SD card. So I could actually use it to record as well. So not only can I view the things behind me, just like if I look back without turning my head about several hundred feet back, there is an emergency vehicle coming up. See a lot of lights flashing. So I'm not sure what's going on. I'm going to pull to the right a little bit, slow down, let this emergency vehicle on by. And I never turn my head. Like I said, my view is not obstructed. It might look a little busy, but that's how I like it. You know, I often tell people, you know, you like watching the videos, but when it come down to doing all of the work, <laughs> It's not the same. Most bikers get on their bike and just put on their helmet and take off and they're ready to go. For me, I have a pre-flight checkoff. <laughs> Almost like a pilot. I have to actually go through my checklist, make sure everything is connected. But that's what I do. So to all the naysayers out there that find fault with the Honda Goldwing, you do what works best for you, and I'll do what works best for me. So I'm just out here cruising on the 2016 Honda Goldwing, showing 45 degrees out, 45 degrees. I'm not even cold, y'all, with this suit that I'm wearing, my Centurion one-piece textile suit. It's waterproof, it has an inner liner, so when I put my heated gear up under this on, man, it's like putting a baked potato in an oven. It feels toasty. Feels real good, man. I'm telling you. I got my heated gloves in the 
in my trunk just in case it, I need them. Right now I'm wearing these gloves that I picked up. These are actually weatherproof, weatherproof uh, winter type gloves that I picked up. Let's see here what's going on with my camera there. I'm trying to move on me. So I picked these up and they work really well. They're waterproof and they're warm. waterproof and they're warm but I have my heated gloves in the trunk just in case just in case I need them but right now I feel good y'all underneath my shoey helmet I'm wearing my my freeze out and also around my neck I'm wearing my freeze out you guys can't see it but I'm toasty I'm warm. I'm snug like a bug in a rug, y'all. And believe me, I ain't no thug. But if you put on the right gear, you can ride all year around. I know depending on where you live, some of you have probably already put your bikes up. Depending on where you live, a lot of you guys in the north know it's cold. Shouts out to Bruce. What's going on, Bruce? Out in Indy. getting your ride in today but if you put on the right gear you can ride all year around but depending on where you're living right now the weather may not be conducive to riding that's one of the things I like about the mid-south here is that we can ride all year around just put on the right gear put on your your freeze outs Put on your heated gloves. Your heated foot insoles. Oh yeah, I got those on too. So I'm just out here rambling on the 2016 Honda Goldwing. Just testing out my rear backup camera by Taddy Brothers. How many of you pull a trailer might be interested in a system like this I can see the benefits of it especially if you have a big trailer I can see the benefits of it so if I want to change my camera view hit my cruise for a second this thing actually has remote control but I'm going to hit this camera button Camera three, which I don't have hooked up. Camera four. Camera one. And I can just toggle between the camera, the, uh, the views. I can do a split screen if I want to. And we're gonna just go to camera two. So camera one would be on my new gold wing and camera two would be on this gold wing. So all I have to do is just Take the monitor off, which takes about a second. Put it onto the bike that I'm riding, and I'm off to the races. So I'm loving this setup. As a matter of fact, the gloves that I'm telling you about, these are actually gloves that you can use on your touchscreen. They got touchscreen capabilities. I'm not cold at all, y'all. This system actually that I installed on the Honda Goldwing, um, I've actually had this monitor. I've had this system probably since 2018. Yeah, since 2018. Uh, if you guys seen the video where I actually hauled uh, Wavy's 2018 at the time, I hauled it to the, the dealership in my enclosed trailer. If you guys missed that video back in 2018, you can click on that link in the top corner. Well, if you watch that video, if you notice the monitor that's mounted in the vehicle that I'm driving in my truck, this is actually that same monitor. The camera that's in my trailer that you see on the screen in that video is a 
wireless camera that I have set up inside the enclosed trailer. Got a lot of good responses. On the last video where I talked about which Honda Goldwing is my favorite. Got a lot of good feedback on it. I, I think when I made that video, I think this 2016 got a little bit jealous because when I went to start it, it was dragging. And I keep this thing on a battery maintainer. Now probably because when I hooked up the camera, I was testing out the system. So that's probably what made the battery run down. I didn't have it connected at that time. But I went to start the Honda Goldwing and it, it wouldn't start. So I had to take my Hawkman, hook it onto the battery terminals, fire it right up. So it was probably because when I was installing the camera system, on the Can-Am trailer and I had the ignition on a few times to test out the wiring and test out the electrical that's probably why the battery went down in the garage so but I got it started no problem at all just out here trying to get the ride in testing out this Taddy Brothers what do you guys think about this what do you guys think about my Taddy Brothers what do you guys think about the Vio folks? Yeah, 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 yeah. 